Hi, my name is Gavin, and welcome to Lorix TV. Today's edition will take a look at the inputs and outputs of our DVRs. Let's start with the AC power adapters. The power DC 12V port is used to connect the male end of a power adapter to provide power to the DVR. Connect the other end of the power adapter to a power outlet, surge protector, or uninterruptible power supply. Some DVRs will turn on immediately after power is connected, and others use a power switch to turn the DVR on or off. It is recommended to only use the included power adapter with your DVR. BNC video inputs are used to connect the video signal from BNC cameras to the DVR. To connect the BNC cable, push the cable in and twist clockwise. VGA video output is used to connect the DVR to computer monitors for viewing using a VGA cable. A VGA cable carries an analog video signal that requires a conversion from the digital signals used by DVRs and LCD monitors. Note that the VGA video output port cannot be used to connect the DVR to a VGA port on a computer or laptop as these are also video output ports. HDMI video outputs is used to connect the DVR to HDTVs or compatible monitors for viewing using an HDMI cable. Unlike a VGA cable, an HDMI cable carries a digital signal that does not need to be converted to analog by the DVR or LCD monitors. The DVI video output port is used to connect the DVR to computer monitors for viewing using a DVI cable. Unlike a VGA cable, a DVI cable carries a digital signal that does not need to be converted to analog by the DVR or LCD monitors. A DVR with a DVI video output port can be connected to a monitor that only has a VGA inputs using a DVI to VGA connector. The BNC video output port is used to connect the DVR to a CCTV monitor for viewing using a BNC cable. It also connects the DVR to a TV using RCA cables with a BNC male to RCA female adapter to connect the RCA cable to the BNC output port. The BNC spot out port is used to connect the DVR to a spot out monitor using a BNC cable. A spot out monitor automatically shows camera channels in sequence. It cannot be used as a main display. Depending on the DVR model, you may be able to select which channels will be shown and the amount of time channels are shown before switching. You can also use a TV as a spot out monitor using RCA cables with a BNC male to RCA female adapter. USB ports or universal serial bus is a common computer port used to transmit data to and from external devices. USB ports are often indicated using this symbol. On security DVRs, USB ports are used for the following functions. To connect a USB mouse to control the DVR user interface. To connect a USB flash memory drive, also known as a thumb drive, to backup or archive video from the DVR. To connect a USB flash memory drive to perform firmware upgrades for system enhancements. And also to enable touchscreen controls when connected to a compatible touchscreen DVR and monitor. The network or LAN port, also known as an Ethernet port, is used to connect the DVR to a local area network, or the Internet, allowing the video signals to be accessed from anywhere in the world. The RCA audio input port is used to connect the RCA audio cables from audio-enabled cameras or self-powered microphones to allow audio recording on the DVR. The maximum number of audio channels supported varies between DVR models. The BNC audio input port is used to connect the DVR to audio-enabled cameras or self-powered microphones using a BNC cable. To connect audio-enabled cameras or self-powered microphones using RCA cables, use a BNC male to RCA female adapter. The audio harness input port is used to connect the DVR to multiple audio-enabled cameras or self-powered microphones using the same port using an audio harness cable. The RCA audio output port is used to connect the DVR to external speakers or a TV with RCA cables to play sound. Note, audio-enabled cameras or self-powered microphones are required to play sound from the DVR. The BNC audio output is used to connect the DVR to external speakers or a TV with BNC cables to play sound. 
to connect the DVR to external speakers or a TV using RCA cables, use a BNC male to RCA female adapter. The RS-485 or PTZ control block port is used to connect the DVR to compatible pan-tilt zoom cameras. The RS-485 control block is sometimes incorporated into the alarm or sensor block. The alarm or sensor block port is used to connect the DVR to compatible alarm or sensor devices, such as door sensors and glass break detectors. It may also include RS-485 PTZ control block. The DIN port is used for a DIN connector which is circular with a pin layout. DIN connectors are generally proprietary, specific to each manufacturer, and Lorex DIN connectors have either a four or six pin layout. The advantage of a DIN connector is that it can provide multiple functionalities through the same cable via the pins. For example, a DIN cable on the camera can be used to provide video, two-way audio to and from the camera, and power. We provide accessory adapters to connect DIN cameras to BNC ports. That concludes our demonstration of Lorx DVR's inputs and outputs. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching Lorx TV.